What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that I'm doing a Yeezy giveaway. If you want to go ahead and join, go ahead and follow the link down in the description below. I'm also doing a raffle for this mask right here. It is the Yeezy mask that you guys have been seeing on my channel this game. Every ticket is $5 each, and there's a total of 22 entries left, so make sure you get them before they're all gone. Anyways, today we're here to talk about the bracelet that's on my hand right here. If you guys have heard me in the past say that there is something that I'm making, but I can't show you guys right now, well, it is. it was this bracelet right here. And the only reason I couldn't make it was because I was thinking of how to make it and how it was going to just hold on and stuff like that. Eventually, I thought of what I can do, and I put this buckle on there. Well, first of all, what I did is I stitched it just like a regular Yeezy, so you guys can see like the stitching on the outside, and then I kind of like box it off at the end as well but in order for this to fit my wrist or any wrist overall it had to actually be connected with another heel tab so it would be a pair of heel tabs not just from one shoe and that's why you see right here it does look kind of raggedy you can see the stitching you see right there it is kind of raggedy and i personally don't like that i don't like how bad like how that looks it just looks bad it doesn't look professional I, at first i was thinking about selling these but as i was making it it just, I had so many complications. It just seemed so difficult to do. I was like, damn, I don't even know if I wanna actually start selling these. Because first of all, it's really time consuming to make it. And second of all, it's just, it takes a lot of materials to make as well. Because this material is pretty thick and the needles that I use to like stitch it down together, they just break a lot. So it took me some time, it took me some thought as well. And then to put the buckle on was a pain too. It just you know, everything was just a pain to make this bracelet. And I want to give a big thank you to the person that gave me the idea to make the bracelet. That's actually who this bracelet's gonna go to. Like I really wish I could start selling this, but by the time I get everything done, like first of all, it's not, it doesn't even look professionally stitched. Like if you look at the lines on the side, you see how like those it's bumpy and then it's just not even straight. I mean it is straight, but then it kind of curves to the right here, just like kind of kind of like wavy. It just it looks raggedy you can see the glue at the tips i don't like that i like to like if i'm gonna sell something i want it to look good honestly if i were to charge for this bracelet it would be just out of proportion like you, nobody would pay the price for this because it's not even worth it it's just a simple bracelet like you can get way much nicer looking bracelets from another brand like ross the cloud they sell such nice bracelets for way cheaper than what i would sell this for maybe i've had a factory to do this for me if like i can actually find these heel tabs from the actual shoes then i would do it but honestly i'm just doing this all by hand as of now i don't plan to go to factories that's just that's just way bigger than i'm expecting right now right now i'm just expecting to stay right here but eventually maybe that could be a possibility and the first thing that made me think of it was i really don't like think, putting like things to waste i don't like throwing things away just make, I, I feel bad because anybody can use materials or something like that so this is why I like sometimes i'll sell the easy soles or i'll just sell a few things here and there that i feel bad or i'll just give away at times it just, it just depends on what it is or how i feel i just feel so bad sometimes throwing things away like the cut up easy sole i didn't want to throw it away so i actually gave it away to somebody all they had to do was pay for shipping and they should have got it either by now or by sometime in this week if they should actually have it but as for the rest of the soles that i'm going to have i'm most likely going to sell them as pairs on ebay they're going to be bidded on so basically just whoever really wants them just have to pay for them that's all it really is it's not like i'm going to sell them for a certain price i feel like if you're deciding to pay for the money for it then you deserve to have it because you're probably gonna most people that want the souls they want to do a custom out of them so make sure you stay tuned i mean i will also announce you guys through twitter so also follow me on twitter and turn your notifications on so you guys know when things are changing or when i'm posting stuff on my website or on my ebay or any of that whenever i just any changes happen to the channel or i have a big announcement to make i do want to apologize for today's video being kind of lame it wasn't really like all that exciting but tomorrow's video will be more back on track let me know what's the most you guys would pay for this bracelet ship like as you guys can see right here the buckle it's nothing really new and it just looks raggedy i'd probably cut this off and make it shorter so it just ends right there so it doesn't look too long like that but yeah just let me know what you guys would pay i just want i just want to know just in case i ever think of something else to do with these heel tabs or whatever and of course before i go i do gotta choose a fan of the day and today's fan of the day is rexility i really like your logo by the way it looks like a lion if i'm not mistaken and if you guys know me i love lions actually i have a tattoo on my chest if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe we are trying to get to 50,000 subscribers so i can choose the winner of the yeezy giveaway make sure you stay woke well. our sneakers signing out alcatraz